Hello everyone, welcome to part 189 of Laravel 9 series in which we are getting the multi vendor e-commerce website. So in this video, we are going to resolve few of the bugs and issues. Okay, so uh, we want to make the website error free. So there are few bugs that we want to resolve in this video. So here you can see that this is the issue and this uh, we have able to resolve and the issue again there are two of the issues that we have found so far. So I will first explain you that what is the issue exactly and how we can able to resolve it. So the first issue is when an admin modifies a vendor product the vendor ID and admin type are changed to admin. So few of my friends help me to resolve these issues uh, they actually they they identify the problem i have resolved the issue and uh, uh, i i am really thanks uh, to one of my friend one of my subscriber to identify these issues and i have resolved it okay uh, okay so one of the issue uh, that is related with the uh, the the quantity of the products okay the stock is resulting in the negative okay so this issue is found by the imran muhammad imran from pakistan so thanks muhammad imran for identifying this issue so i am going to tell you that how we have resolved this issue okay so another issue i am going to tell you okay so another issue found by uh, this person uh, i am going to open the profile of this person i uh, not able to uh, spell uh, its name is lot ninjoy tim tim gum okay lot ninjoy tim gum okay so he is the person who resolved the biggest issue okay so this is the person thanks uh, mr lot okay uh, you have done a great job uh, of uh, identifying one of the uh, uh, one of the major issue like what happened like if we if the admin modifies the vendor product suppose the vendor adds one product okay and later on admin modifies the details of the vendor product then what happened that product automatically transferred to the admin uh, the owner of that product uh, shifted to the admin okay so this is the major issue and we have resolved this issue uh, by making the minor changes i'm going to explain you what changes we have made to resolve this issue okay so thanks uh, mr lord for identifying this issue okay so i'm going to resolve this issue first of all we are going to resolve this issue by taking a few of the steps okay so let's see i'm going to close the earlier files Okay, to resolve this issue, I'm going to open the products controller uh, at the admin. Okay, so here we will find the add edit product. Okay, so here uh, we will see where is the admin type, uh, admin type, vendor ID. Uh, okay, so here it is admin type, vendor ID, admin ID. Okay, so this part where we are assigning the admin type ad, admin id as well as the vendor id uh, if the id is not there see uh, try to understand like uh, for the if we are going to add the new product then only we are going to assign the values and if the id is not there uh, okay so if the id is not there then only we are going to add this value so in the case of add uh, we have seen that we are not uh, not having any product id okay so in case of add this product id is empty you can see this product id is empty in case of add product and it is having some value in case of edit product because we want to edit that particular product with the id okay so we are going to add the condition like if id is empty only then we are going to uh, assign the values to the admin type vendor id and admin id okay so i'm going to add this check here and this one will only happen only if the id is empty it means that if the vendor or admin is going to add the product okay so in case of edit this code will never update because we don't require any kind of update with the admin type vendor id as well as the admin id we don't require 
to update these things these things are fixed okay once we have added the uh, product these things are fixed whether the product belongs to the vendor it will keep belonging to the vendor if the product is added by the admin then it keeps belonging to the admin all the time so we are not not going to modify the values of these columns admin type vendor id and admin id so that's why we have added the check like if id is empty only then we are going to add these uh, columns okay uh, we are going to up, uh, see only add these columns there is no update for these columns okay so with this the issue will get resolved now uh, you can go in admin you can modify any of the vendor product that you want uh, like you can simply check like which of the uh, products belongs to the vendor uh, like uh, I'm going to see uh, for the uh, product that belongs to the vendor so these two products belong to the vendor as it is having the vendor ID uh, 8th and 9th I'm going to modify this product and will check that whether uh, it will remain to the vendor or not okay with the ID 9th I'm going to update this one let's update uh, okay so i'm going to just simply uh, select uh, or update some of the values here uh, like uh, i can update the price here like to 1100 okay and we click on submit and we'll see okay so product updated successfully so this ninth product i'm going to refresh see it will keep belong to vendor here you can see the admin type is vendor so i want that it will be only vendor only i'm going to refresh here and we'll see it will not update to admin yes it is not updated to admin it is vendor only okay so like this you can able to resolve this issue so let's talk about the second issue this one see every time when we place some order with two quantities suppose uh, we are going to place the order with the two quantity i'm going to log in first of all uh, customer login okay uh, so i am going to log in with one of the account here uh okay i will try with this one okay so uh, i can see one product is already there i am going to open this product and will open its attributes okay so i will uh, select one of the uh, uh product here i am going to modify its stock to uh, two right now okay so i am going to place its order like uh, uh, i am going to place uh, for the two stock okay two quantity uh, right now one uh, let's refresh okay two quantity product stock is not available it is saying uh, it is medium okay so it is medium so that's why okay i am going to make it three update attributes so now i'm going to modify it now it is updating fine proceed to checkout okay so i am here now i am going to place the order for two items of this product suppose i make it one uh i make it one right now update attributes to one okay or i can simply make it zero suppose there is no stock remaining for this item maybe the uh, another person uh or place the order for this item uh, in some other browser okay so now this person is going to place the order now there must be error message comes here but actually the error message is not coming and the stock reduced to minus two let's see click on place order uh, see right now i have added the check okay but earlier on there is no check i'm going to show you that which check i have added here the check is come uh, check has come error green t-shirt with medium size is not available please remove from card and choose some other product okay uh, i will do one more thing here uh, I can make its uh, stock as one. Okay, so let's try with the one stock. I'm going to click on proceed to checkout uh, and we'll try now that the issue may come or not. Okay, so click on place order. Uh, so still it is not, uh, we not able to place the order. I'm going to show you the check that we have added. Uh, please move from cart. Uh, I'm going to search for this check that we have added uh, while placing the order. Uh, okay. So this one we have added in the first controller at the front. So here uh, I'm going to open the checkout and I'm going to search for this check as well. Uh, so here uh, uh, see here uh, product stocks get product stock uh, prevent sold out products to order. So this is the check we are required to add here 
and uh, see here uh, get product stock but still there is issue like uh, uh, I am going to show you like uh, when the issue will come uh, uh, ok so I am going to try once again ok I am going to make it two okay so let's see i'm going to now click proceed to checkout okay now again i'm going to make it one let's see now uh, order uh, able to place the order or not cash on delivery place order i think this time order is going to place let's see yes this time order has been placed and uh, we can see the issue here the stock reduced to the minus one you can see the stock reduced to the minus one so this is the major issue we have added the check just checking that the stock is there or not we are not checking that uh, the stock is actually uh, more than the uh, than the stock that the user wants like uh, stock is one stock of the product is only one but the user want the two item for that okay so that is wrong it it uh, updates to minus one for that okay for uh, for that reason okay so uh, we are going to resolve this issue and what we are going to do uh, we are going to update in the press controller here and i am going to update the checkout function but not here i am going to update here uh, right before saving uh, here i am going to check here and we are going to return the user to the card page okay so here i'm simply uh, will check the uh, quantity of the product okay dollar item quantity if dollar item quantity is greater than uh, dollar uh, get product stock where it is get uh, okay so uh, here we will do one more thing I am going to calculate here dollar get product stock products attribute and get product stock okay so we will pass the product ID as well as the product site okay so so we will get the product stock so if item quantity is greater than get product stock okay so we are going to show the message uh, like we are showing earlier as well uh, I'm going to pick that message uh, we can pick any of the message I'm going to pick this one and here we are going to do it like this message then uh, here I am going to pick the product name this is the product name okay product name uh, with this size uh, okay we are is not available uh, we are going to make it please please reduce its qu quantity and try again please reduce its quantity and try again see we can also put this check here as well okay we can also put this check here in this uh, for each loop okay uh, so right now i am adding this here no issue and here uh, now uh, we will simply return redirect with this error message and like this one okay i'm going to copy this one as well okay simply we can return redact with this error message okay so now uh, we can try once again and here i'm going to make it stock once again i'm going to update it to one first of all i'm going to update it to two okay and now uh, i will go back to that product once again 
uh, that is having the id which i product 5 id okay product 5 and i am going to add here uh, medium medium uh, okay yeah i'm going to add the medium uh, with two quantity add to cart okay view card so here is the two quantity of this product proceed to check out okay so now i'm going to reduce it to one update and let's see now that the issue will come or not cash on delivery and we're going to click on place order let's see uh okay so it is showing some issue here okay uh, i'm going to see what issue exactly uh get product stock okay so uh, i'm going to see the issue uh, okay so we are going to see here here it will come item here instead of order see and here also item will come here and instead of programs for size here size will come okay here you can see uh, we have added the wrong uh, here values okay so now it seems to be fine and also we will add here maybe this one stock is to put level please reduce its stock uh, quantity is fine okay so now we can try i'm going back okay i am going to place uh, with one quantity and cash on delivery click on place order so okay we have not selected the delivery address cash on delivery click on this one place order now it is fine green t-shirt with medium stock is not available please reduce its quantity and try again okay uh, so so it seems to be fine uh, we can also add here the quantity is not available okay uh, quantity is not available uh, so uh, please reduce its quantity and try again so now it seems to be fine uh, now i will try once again here i am going to make it uh, two once again now so that we can able to move further like proceed to check out uh, so we have reached here now i will again move it to one okay so now this time the, that error will not come here we can select the delivery address cash on delivery any any payment gateway we can select now click on place order okay and now you can see the error is coming because uh, already one stock is reduced okay we have but the user wants the two stock but we have only one so that's why it has shown the error message green t-shirt with medium quantity is not available please do it is reduce its quantity and try again now if the user will reduce its quantity he can able to place the order successfully okay you now you can see the user will able to place its order okay so now the order is going and he can able to place the order with the one quantity as the one quantity is available okay so you can uh, see it is sending email so that's why it is taking time and uh, see uh, now the thanks page has come you, your order has been placed successfully okay so this time we have got the order with the one quantity so that's all for now okay in the next video uh, we will do the pending features only few videos are left for the multi vendor e-commerce and if you want to get the source code you can always join the channel to get the complete source code of the multi vendor e-commerce website that you will not get anywhere okay only you need to pay a few bucks and you will get the complete source code with uh, with sport okay you can uh, simply join the channel you can open the youtube.com stack developers and you can click on join to join the channel uh, after paying few bucks you can you will be able to get the complete source code okay and you can always subscribe to get the more updates uh, of updates regarding laravel 10 we have already already started series on laravel 10 and better code we are going to do in laravel 10 okay and also you will get the rect series rect app code as well okay so uh, stay tuned for the further videos that's all for now have a nice time goodbye